Hey and welcome back. This week I'm doing something a little bit different. I am going to take all these ingredients you see out on my counter and I'm going to turn it into a bunch of different freezer meals, individual freezer meals. So we're going to do some spaghetti and meatballs. You make a whole bunch of meatballs and we're going to do some sweet and sour meatballs as well using the pineapple for that. Then we're going to make teriyaki chicken and rice as well as barbecue chicken. Now I diced up a bunch of onions earlier and they were in my freezer so I'm going to use those. And I have some noodles left so I'm going to use the noodles to make a broccoli chicken casserole. So here we go. To make the meatballs I minced up those frozen onions with some fresh garlic. Put that all in my stand mixer. That is the best way to make meatballs is in a stand mixer if you have one. I did three pounds of the ground beef and one pound of the sausage, but you could also do half and half. I had a little bit of this seasoning left so I went ahead and used it up, but I went ahead and used more salt and more pepper as well because there's nothing worse than meatballs without enough flavor. Then I use Worcestershire sauce and a couple of eggs and mix that up well. Then I put a little bit of soy sauce in as well. And this is optional, you don't have to add the breadcrumbs. Just if you choose to, you can. I might leave them out next time. So now I had a ton of meat ready to go and I just used my little cookie scoop and made about the same size balls. And I filled up my trays and got the oven ready for them to bake. And they'll bake for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Now once they come out of the oven, they're gonna be pretty greasy. So I put them in layered paper towels in a dish and I ran out of room in that one. So I got a plate with some paper towels and I put the rest on that to absorb some of that grease. So the first meal I used the meatballs in was the sweet and sour meatballs. I drained a can of pineapple into a, a measuring cup and then filled the rest up with water to make about a cup and a half. Then I added my other ingredients to make the sauce. Now I added a couple tablespoons of um, cornstarch, but I ended up adding more later. So I put that into a pan to simmer and get thick. I then added back that pineapple that I had taken the juice from earlier to make the sauce and added more cornstarch and I mixed that with a little water to make a slurry and then you add it to the, the sauce and it got to be about the right consistency and I went ahead and made my rice which you guys know me I love the microwave rice 15 minutes in the microwave uncovered cover for five minutes fluff and it's perfect so I divided out my rice between five plates now these plates were a little bit deeper the edges were much higher than normal plates and I thought that would be perfect for putting in the freezer so nothing spilled over while they were freezing. So I mixed the sauce and the meatballs together. Now everything, the rice, the sauce, and the meatballs were all um, cooled off before I divided these up because I'm gonna package them up and I didn't want a bunch of condensation. Now I took already frozen broccoli and put it on the plates because I was gonna put these immediately back into the freezer. So you don't want I mean, you could use fresh broccoli, but you'd have to steam it first. And I used a straw to suck out all of the air, well, most of the air, and then I just got them all ready to go and put them in. The next meal that I made was the spaghetti and meatballs, so I boiled the noodles according to package directions. And actually, I did al dente, so a little bit less soft because I knew that these would be reheated again later. After I drained my noodles, I had a little bit of olive oil to them to make them not stick together. And then I just added my sauce. Of course, you could make your own sauce if you wanted, but I was trying to do it quickly. So I used the rest of the meatballs I had for this dish. Again, these are all cooled off. 
so that they're ready to plate up. And I did five of these meals as well. And I took frozen green beans and put them on the side of um, the main meal. And we put a little Parmesan on top. My daughter was helping me this time. And then we just packaged them up the same way, stuck them in the freezer Ziploc bag, sucked the air out as best I could, and got them into the freezer to freeze. Next, I started working on my chicken dishes. I got my chicken thighs, half my chicken thighs, and I trimmed the fat and cut them up. Then I made my sauce for the teriyaki. And that had soy sauce and brown sugar. I would have used all rice one, or rice vinegar, but I ran out, so I used some apple cider vinegar as well. I minced up some garlic and did a little bit of fresh ginger, salt and pepper, and a little bit of powdered and garlic and ginger as well, just for extra flavor. Next, you're gonna fry up the chicken in a little bit of oil until it is cooked through. I used a paper towel to remove some of the grease from this pan. And then you're gonna add your sauce directly into the pan with the chicken. I added a little bit of water, maybe like a cup of water, and then I added my cornstarch water slurry to start thicken, thickening the sauce. And I had these chopped up green onions, so I threw them in as well. Mmm, looks good. And of course, more rice. And we just are gonna do the same as we've been doing. This time, I think I made five meals. Yeah, I made five meals out of it. Split up the rice. Then took the chicken teriyaki and divided that out onto the plates. And I didn't put all the sauce. I kind of tried to scoop the chicken out and then add a little bit of sauce to each one because I didn't want to overdo it. Teriyaki is pretty strong. And I took frozen broccoli, added that to each plate as well. And then got it ready for the freezer. This next meal was the barbecued chicken thighs. So I took the other half of the chicken thighs from that big pack and I made a dry rub with paprika, onion powder, oregano, salt, pepper, garlic powder. And I trimmed the fat off of those thighs and I spread some of the dry rub on the back and the front. And then I got my grill hot and I grill them for a few minutes on each side, maybe three to five minutes on each side. Now when I flipped them the first time, I got some barbecue sauce and spread it on the side that was not on the grill and let them continue to cook. And then I took all the meat off the grill, putting it barbecue side down on the plate brought it back into the house and put more barbecue sauce on that other side that had not gotten any sauce on it yet. Now I made sure that these were completely cool and while those were cooking, I cooked up some potatoes. They were soft, so I drained them and added the butter. Now you're gonna want to add your butter first and completely coat the potatoes in butter before you add your milk. That will keep them from getting too like watery-ish, potato-ish like. I don't know if you've ever had uh, mashed potatoes that were too watery or too grainy, but the butter kinda, I don't know, it encapsulates the starch or something. Then I added a few seasonings and that was ready to go. And again, I cooled it completely off. So I took my cool chicken, Divided that up. I think I only had enough for four because I think my son ate one of these after it came off the grill. And then I divided up the potatoes as well. 
Now for the vegetable for this meal, I had some corn, so I wanted to use that up. Not a whole pack, just a little bit. And then I had green beans, so I broke those in half because they were just the long ones. And put them in, got them ready for more freezer meals. The last meal I made was super easy. It Because I already had pre-frozen grilled chicken chunks, it made it very easy to, to throw together. I boiled the noodles, and while those were boiling, I made the sauce. Now, I only had half a package of noodles, so I just made half the sauce. So a can of cream of chicken soup and a half a cup of milk and half a cup of mayonnaise and a teaspoon of curry powder, some salt and pepper. Mix that well, and then I took my noodles, drained them, added a little oil to keep them from sticking because I was gonna have these cool down. All my noodles cool down before I put them in the freezer. And I mixed the sauce and the noodles together. And then I took my frozen broccoli and I cut it into a little bit smaller pieces. And I took the frozen grilled chicken chunks and put that in as well. And now the noodle and the sauce was cool, so wouldn't defrost the other ingredients. Then I divided it into four plates, packaged them up, and got them in the freezer. And there you have it. There are over 20 meals that will last us weeks and give us a quick and easy meal when we need one.